Hello, this is my project for Design of Electromechanical Systems, MAE 535, with North Carolina State University. Today I'm going to be using this device right here to demonstrate the Lorenz force, which is the force on moving charged particles through electric and magnetic fields. Lorenz force is defined as the force vector is equal to the magnitude of the charge times the electric field vector plus the velocity vector cross product the magnetic field intensity vector. What I'm going to be using to demonstrate this is this device right here which is a simple homopolar generator this is an aluminum disc. Down here are magnets, ceramic. There is an additional, there is a digital multimeter set on millivolts and a, the other terminal is connected to a wire brush right here. For the circuit we're going to be creating, the positive terminal of the multimeter is connected to the center nail right here and the negative terminal is connected to the wire brush. The stationary magnetic field which is used in this Lorenz force is pointing this direction. So to demonstrate the Lorenz force we are going to be seeing if we can produce a voltage through the multimeter and based on the right hand rule if we have a magnetic field intensity going this way a velocity going back towards the wall that should have a force on the moving charges upwards so let's try to see if we can get a positive voltage by spinning that and right now we should be seeing a range of 1 to 3 millivolts, fairly small, but still an induced charge. And uh, one can imagine the electrons, since they actually are the charged moving particles, they actually will be going downwards toward the outside of the rim. To generate a negative voltage, we can actually reverse the direction of our spins. The magnetic field intensity will stay the same direction, but if we change the direction of the velocity and have that part of the disk spinning in this direction we should be getting a negative voltage and we should be getting approximately negative one to three millivolts once again the homopolar generator is not a massive charge producing device but it still can actually generate an electric potential and so what is happening on the homopolar generator is as this device spins we have a charge distribution starting to occur where there's a force on the positive charges, though the negative charges are the charge carriers, going in the upwards direction, thus giving the center of the disk a net positive charge. Meanwhile, the negative charge particles are actually moving towards the outside of the disk, and they end up like so, so the terminals connected in the center and the outside of the disk have a net potential difference. And that is how the homopolar generator works and how it can use an electric charge distribution and the Lorentz force to generate an electric potential. Thank you.